So we're continuing our series on converging lens ray diagrams. And this time we want to look at what happens when we place our object further out than 2f. So our object is beyond 2f. As always in these diagrams, what we want to do is send a ray through the optical center that goes straight through and send a parallel ray that turns and goes through f. So we'll start off by doing the optical center. So we send a ray from the top of the object all the way down through the optical center and continue it as far as we can. Now we want to send a second ray that goes parallel and turns through f. So we send that ray parallel, it turns and goes through f, and we can see there's a location down here where these rays are meeting. But we'll put the arrows on to show the direction of light travel first. So the rays are meeting here, and that's really where our image is going to form. So the image of the top of the object, the tip of the arrow, is going to form here. So we add inner image, and we can see that it has certain properties. It's formed by rays that really meet, so it's a real image. It's also upside down with respect to the object, which means it's an inverted image. And it's considerably smaller than the object, which means it's a diminished image, which is the opposite of being magnified. So we have a diminished, real, inverted image. So we can summarize what we've found out in these three videos. In part one, we find that when we place the object closer in than the focal length, that we got this diverging of rays that could only be viewed by putting an eye here and looking back through the lens. We get this virtual image, which is upright and magnified. And we call this part one example the simple microscope or the magnifying glass. We then moved the object in part 2, we moved it further out than F. We still got a magnified image, but it's different. It's inverted, and it's formed by rays that meet, so it's real. So it's still magnified, but now it's real and inverted. In part 3, we move the object even further out. What we could see now is that we still have a real image, still formed by rays that cross. It's still inverted, but now it's a diminished, smaller than the object. And those are the three main diagrams that you can get for a converging lens. There are other special cases, but these are the most important ones. Thanks for watching.